So, um, so let's talk about how we're going to evaluate these, these examples of our writing in here. So um, this is a, a, a little uh, checklist. It might get modified slightly depending on what, what writing assignment we're doing. But in general, um, what I'd like you guys to do, and this is how I'll be evaluating your stuff you know, going, going forward. So um, I want you to have, and this is, this is also in the rubric. If you were to click through it, you could, you could see this, but it's a little bit hard. It, it's not the most elegant. So I made this nicer, cleaner one page version for you guys. Um, so first thing here would be, hey, we're looking at this. What is your thesis, right? So whatever you write for me, maybe it's a one page thing. Maybe it's a five page thing. Maybe it's a half page thing. The thesis should be clear. What is the core argument I'm trying to make? Manta tourism is great. Manta tourism is hurting. Manta tourism is probably whatever, you know, whatever it is. I, it sh I should be able to look at that and, and, um, and pretty clearly see what you're, what you're trying to say, right? That could be from the title. That can be from a, a bolded statement. Whatever works to make it clear to your reader. So I should be able to come in here and write out in a one sentence really quickly what your, what your thesis is, right? Without spending much brain power. Okay. Next, this is just a simple yes, no checkbox. So some of it's a little bit repetitive with some of the things down below, whatever, but it, it's, again, trying to help you guys do a double check before you submit stuff. So the first is, hey, do I have a clear thesis statement somewhere in, in there? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good. Cool. Next. Um, do I have any really obvious grammar issues or obviously did I screw up the spelling of something? No, right? It goes without saying you guys should all, or you're always turning in professional things to me. Even if I call it a draft, that always means a complete draft. That always means no spelling errors. That always means professional formatting, all that kind of stuff, okay? Even if we're gonna revise it later. Okay, so yeah, it's free from any, any obvious stuff. And you know, in some cases we might have 10 peer review, five, in this case that we're doing, I, I told you guys just have five. So do we have at least five peer reviewed stuff, right? Again, some of you guys had some references in there which are totally fine references, but when I say the, the five or the 10, you can always go more than that, but I want those to be peer reviewed, right? right? You know, technical robust references. And then if there's a news article or another report or something, it's totally cool to add those in, but, but that should be in addition to your core things. Okay, next is um, what, now that uh, we've gone around for this for a little bit and everybody should be getting familiar with, with Zotero. So from here on out, I want you to link me to your library. So if you're citing some paper that I don't know, I can click over there and see it pretty easily. Um, I don't know the best way to do this. I'm, try I'm trying to make it low work for you guys. So one option, you, can, you always have this option. So if this is my dude, I can always go up here and do uh, export library. So let's say uh, th that's maybe my partner can't read my references. I just want to give him everything. So I can always do that. And then you could give it to me and I could import it. Um, and maybe we'll do that one time as an exercise, but, but I don't, you know, I don't necessarily need that. So one option you have when you do a writing assignment is you can do just what I just said. You can just export this and put this in a Google fo folder and send me a link to the Google folder, right? Um, uh, or you can, you know, you could, I suppose you could add me as a, as a member in your group or, so I, again, I don't, I want to be able to, if there's a question, I want to be able to go down and see your references. I'm not going to do it every single time, but I think that's a good practice. Again, if you're doing this for your boss at work and, and she wants to see this, that's a way, that's a best professional thing. Hey, here's, all, here's my work. I just showed you all my work. Here's, here's the thing, right? Um, so, so again, at least a link to where I can see your library. Um, and you can just add that at the end. And then also a brief statement on, on the writing tools that you used, right? And that's for me this semester, just so I can understand how you guys are doing stuff and just we're, we're you know, full transparency. Again, one, two sentences, that's fine. It, I'm not looking for an, a long essay. Um, but I, I really want to know, like, I really found Research Rabbit the most helpful in this, in this, in this uh, write-up or, or whatever. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how you guys are learning and how I can best support you and, and be fully transparent. Um, okay, and then over here, so this is how I'll just start, this is how I'm gonna grade these things, right? So we have the argument, we have how it's organized, we have the management implications, since this is a management class, so 
almost everything, if not everything we'll talk about, should have some pretty clear management. Either it, the whole thing is a study of a management action, or if it's a more basic thing, it should have a clear implication for what that might mean for management. Scholarship. This is re referencing the um, how well you guys explored the literature, how well you understood the, the knowledge of this particular situation, the, this question. And the mechanics is just to make sure that you didn't totally flub it, right? That we have correct spelling. Was, if I found in the past when, I, when I've pulled that out, people sometimes get sloppy. So we always want to be there. Um, cool. And then everything is either like, you know, kick butt, um, doing really well. So three is totally solid. There's, there's nothing wrong with a three. Um, a two is, eh, you really should be better. Right, but you're kind of getting there, right? I mean, it's not, not you didn't totally miss the boat. One is, yeah, you kind of missed the boat on that. We should you should be doing a lot. You should, you should be working on a lot, getting a lot better. Um, and yeah, so so that's that that's my guidance. Does that make sense? And so I have a quick question by each of these to help you guys um, uh, if you're not sure exactly what I'm what I'm talking about. And then I have uh, you know the the rubric, again, it's really hard to make one of these that works for all of our assignments all the time, but to try to be as, as consistent as possible, um, uh, you can go through there. So to, to do this for the first one, what I want to do is we're going to buddy up with folks, and I want you guys to give feedback to each other using this, this first one. Cool? So um, we, unfortunately, we're, we're odd, an odd number of folks in this class. So, so mostly, I want you guys to be in pairs, but one group will have to be a, a three. So, uh, so scooch over, and I'd like you to share, and you can, just, you can just turn on your screen, you don't have to you know, print up, but if you could sh share your, either open up your document or go to the, the PDF or whatever, and, and pass it to your bud, and then your bud can see yours, and you guys can take just a, a quick five minutes and just skim. I'm not, I, I'm not so, I don't so much care about the first, the first paragraph, if you guys, so, um, you know, I had you guys do their in-class writing assignment, and then you made the main one. We're talking about the main one here. Willow. Uh, 